Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Just Michael. Who is Just? I'm just me. <laughs> yeah. I'm just me. Yeah. Uh, we're checking out some Hop and Frog beer. Hop and Frog is an awesome brewery. I don't drink too much of this stuff anymore, which is a same shame because it's one of those breweries that when I got into craft beer that blew my mind with like Boris and actually Mean Menelishi was one Boris of my first. Boris and Doris and all the stuff. Yeah, but when I whoa. I'm the old guy here in terms of beer. When I started getting into beer, Doris didn't exist. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but it didn't. It was Boris, and then I remember my first double IPA, or second or so, was Mean Menelishi. And it was like old school, huge malt cannon, super bitter. Yeah. And we were like, fuck, this is so nice. I haven't had it in years. I don't even know if they still make it. But um, they make some great stuff. Yeah. And uh, today we're checking out a variant of Taurus. So they have... Boris, which is bodacious oatmeal Russian imperial stout, and then Doris, which is double oatmeal Russian imperial stout, and then they have Taurus, which is triple, probably triple oatmeal Russian it is imperial triple. stout. It doesn't say. Oh, yeah, it is triple. It says triple imperial stout. Taurus the tyrant, uh, and basically Taurus was made because there was, I believe, it was because some of the liquor laws was changed in Ohio, so they could do bigger beers and more full body beers. I think there was a, an, a law that's like, beer can't be stronger than this ABV. And if it's stronger than that, you can't call it a beer. Okay. It's illegal. State laws in the States are fucking weird. Okay. Um, so they made Taurus. I've had Taurus. Taurus was great. Have you had yeah. Taurus? Have you I, had have to, I only had Taurus Barrel Age. Yeah. Well, I had Taurus and Taurus Barrel Age. And Taurus mm. Barrel Age was fucking awesome. But today we're yeah, trying out the Rocky Mountain Barrel Age version of Taurus. So it says it's aged in a Colorado whiskey barrel. I don't know from which this is a region. Mm -hmm. And I looked it up online. I mean, it just says that it's in a Colorado whiskey barrel. And there's a few micro distilleries in Colorado, so that's all we know. Uh, but it's a triple <laughs> oatmeal Russian imperial stout on 13.8%. Yeah. So big stuff, as they say, aged in a very special uh, in very special Colorado whiskey barrels to add magnificent, magnificent complex and satisfying character. So this I, this it's been a long time since I had mm. any of these. Yeah. So this is gonna be fun. So you've had Boris and Doris and all those, right? Yeah, I've had this uh, some, from time to time. I have had a, a fro hop and frog because it's it's one of those. Like, it's very rare. It disappoints. Yeah. It's it's, it's usually usually, usually great know. beers. Fred knows his stuff. But there's well, I don't know uh, how much the, the whole this. bunch of. Uh, Varieties of barrel aged Boris, for example, I think there's maybe 10 varieties of something. I remember loving their uh, Frog's Hollow pumpkin ale. Yeah, I, I actually tasted their uh, pumpkin ale too. That's quite good. If you like pumpkin ale, yeah, beer that tastes like exactly. pie. Well, people should now because it pastries out. <laughs> but that and also the Christmas beer. I don't know if you had that one. No, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, this will be fun. Yeah. Huge Colorado whiskey barrel aged version of Taurus. I mean, that is thick and I love the color black. of the head. Yeah, but the beer itself is just sludgy. I'm it's wondering, sludgy it must flat. be like double mashed or something. I mean, it's just so thick and rich looking. It looks like when we've had like horror stops yeah, and stuff like that. It does. Which are like double mashed, triple mashed, and boiled for like hours. And it's the same kind of deal you get there. Just like pitch black and a like really dark tan head. Yeah. Yeah, let's check out the aroma. Let's check out. Oh, old mm. school. Umami. Ball. Yeah, bourbon. Bourbon, but I'm, to me, I'm getting so much like savory, yeah, savory. licorice uh, like roasty, burnt, like tar. It's not like, sweet. To, no, tobacco, yeah. cigar smoke, pipe tobacco. Like, yeah, really exactly. like intense old school and edgy, not like sweet and soft around no, the edge. No, no, it's no, just no. like one of those like... This is old school. I agree. Smack in the face. And I actually like that because it's been a while. Me too. Me too. It's lots of tobacco, actually. Lots of sweet tobacco. And then, as you said, like bourbon whiskey and definitely yeah, a bit of sweet vanilla. Sweet bourbon, vanilla, umami. Huge licorice. Licorice, yeah. I wonder if this is made with muscovado sugar because it reminds me of that because muscovado sugar is, has like this licorice y. Uh, but it looks so sludgy. Molasses. It or, looks so sludgy. It, it, so so it, it feels heavy, but it, it might be, You can't feel it. But it, <laughs> it, it feels, feels heavy. black and heavy. It's really thick it's and rich. Sweet, yeah. And dense. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for sharing, Michael. And You're welcome. Tim. And Tim. Cheers. Oh, oh fuck.
fuck. Oh, oh. That is like... That is fuck. right up my alley. It has some... How it, refreshing is this to drink in the days of sweet... It has a big sweet. coffee. So big, bitter coffee, bourbon, burn, bitterness... My God, For this me, is good. This is just like the epitome oh, of old school good. American stout. Yeah. The girls start like big roasted malt, big charry malt, mm. big charred oak, big tobacco, licorice. Like it's like just it's more coffee and than licorice. It's like really a dense espresso coffee. Like you at work when mm. I go to work in the morning. The cleaning lady makes coffee, and she makes coffee for us brewers. But Fuck, this is she good. makes it really fucking strong. So yeah. it's like you have that like, oh, this is black coffee. It's not just black coffee. It's like really strong black coffee. That's what I'm getting here. That's like this is really like really strong, intense coffee. Yeah, it is. Flavor. It is so intense, and it leaves a sticky gloss on your lips. But big time umami, savory licorice. It's not semi, that big on umami. I don't think it. It, it has umami. Usually, I don't like umami beers because it's not my this kind is, of thing. For me, this, this is, is so, this this is so is balanced. Still, it is still got lots of umami. Yeah, but, but it balanced. What also, someone else, else. also something else. else. It reminds mm. me of Moscovado sugar. It has like that complex sweetness that is tasting like dark sugars and also molasses. Fuck, it's good. like black striped molasses, and it's really thick. And it's warming. It's not boozy. It's that barrel warmth again. The, mm. the the bourbon. But the thing is, the fun thing with this, in terms of bourbon flavor, it plays in with like loads of charred oak. It tastes yeah. so much like burnt wood, more so than like has, vanilla and fudge and all this. Yeah, and it has some 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 qualities from the uh, the the British uh, Guinness from the yeah, coffee, yeah. from the coffee stouts. I'm not. Well, Guinness isn't a coffee stout. It's a dry stuff. Yeah, but it has coffee, coffee bitterness. This has yeah, but the I think coffee what you, bitterness. What do you mean is like that? The, what, I think yeah. what you're talking about is the, the more burnt malt character. Yeah, the burnt. Because that burnt, yeah. roasty, intense malt Sorry. character, yeah. you don't find that too much in a lot of modern stouts. No, nope. because of all the sweetness. But exactly. I, I, I like both of them. But it's so refreshing to have a stout like this. It's just like so I much like it. it's, it's got edge. It's got bruises. It's like this. Yeah. This is a stout who's been in a couple street fights. It is. If you can say yeah. it like that, you know, it's like it's a fucking tyrant. It can take it. It's just. It's just, it's just feels like edgy and bold. Yeah. If you can say like, and it fucking it's refreshing to have. And I think a lot of people will think this is too much umami. This is too savory. This mm. is too edgy. No, 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 no. I this think is fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's really good. I'm getting this is 97. I think this is fucking great. This is right up my alley. I fucking I was thinking 97 as well. It is exactly. amazing. It's really good, and it's. I so, love the edges, and I love that it's so sludgy and thick. It's mm. so rich and thick, and the barrel again it plays in. But I love how it's just it's it's, it's almost like a, even though it's a bit old school, it's a breath of fresh air. It's not because, that old school. Usually no, 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 the no. old school beers become a bit thin. If I think of parabola and, and stuff like that, it's too savory, too salt licorice. Too. This has thin. loads of savory, this is salty thick, licorice this, too. Yeah, but it also has some other stuff to yeah, balance yeah. the stuff. But I think, I think there's a so lot great. of people who are not gonna like this as much as we do. I don't really care. This is no, great. No, it's fucking great. Learn Who to cares? live with it. Learn to love the edges. Yeah. <laughs> really? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to love the edges. Yeah. Yeah, well, I agree. Things gonna have some, some, yeah, some edges. Life's gonna have some edges. Yeah. Some are gonna be sharp. Some. Are... <laughs> I don't know. Don't fall about. into the. I, I mean, I love, I love. Don't fall into the words of tyrants. I love pastry beers, but this is just, yeah. yeah this it's is gonna. Good. In a few years, you're gonna think this is the stuff. And this, you never yeah. know. Maybe we're gonna drink like right now. Is what it looks like with trends. We're drinking you think we're gonna drink beers that are colored with glitter and yeah. charcoal mm. and luminous and green. So maybe Every, in a few years, we're not gonna be drinking beer. We're not we're gonna, gonna, gonna evolve if we don't try stuff, but. This is just a great a beer. Joke. It was a magic. Yeah, I know. But it's just little beer and, and pastries shit. But <laughs> that is also good. But this is just this is just well made beer. It is. It's great, huge ash ass barrel aged rich umami. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. And if you don't like rich umami stout, you'll not like it. But I think it's fucking great. So I agree. Ninety seven. It's nice to have something that's just like smack in the face of old school where it works. Pim. Tim, <laughs> Tim, are you gonna Mr. thumbs up, thumbs down? 
Do you like this? I might be a bit. We're gonna cut out this. Tim and just <laughs> say uh, that this is a great beer. Yeah. <laughs> it's no. a great beer, absolutely. But but what I was thinking was it's rough uh, around the edges. Yeah, yeah, it is. And I, I was just thinking about. I know it sounds crazy, but I was thinking about just putting a bit of water in it because it's really strong. It and is so intense. Really, yeah. It's like it's, it's like, like, like when, espresso. It's, no, it's like when people have fucking I love whiskeys. They're yeah. like, fuck, this is so intense. Yeah. Let me pour in a drink of water. But when I have my Isla whiskey, I want it straight because yep. I love that intensity. This it's the same just as the beer. It's, it's a beer. Even though it's just smoky, but it's the same kind of like smack of flavor. Yeah. It's a sipper. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You're going to have this glass for a whole evening, but it is fantastic. And we're going to have it for, well, couple not even a, a couple of 20 minutes. A couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, it's but really, it is really great. So I definitely, guys, if you can get Taurus. Uh, the Tyrant from Hop and Frog in the Rocky Mountain Barrel Age version. Get it if you like the old school styles. This is just phenomenal old school style. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the old school styles, my beef, and you talked about it a little bit, it's like sometimes they're a bit fit, thin. This is like this sludgy is and big, thick. thick and old school. And it's fucking it is. So if you guys had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to try to enjoy some more. Hoppin' Frog Beers. Yes. It is great. And see you guys in another beer view. Cheers. Cheers.